Hi, so today we're going to analyze this common emitter uh, amplifier with a potential divider biasing, that's R1 and R2 here, and a bypass emitter resistor uh, here. All right, we're going to use the uh, RE model, that's this model over here, to represent the transistor. And we're going to figure out what the ZI, ZO, AV, and AIs are using basic circuit theory and algebra. All right, let's start. All right, so the first thing we should do is, of course, convert our, uh, our circuit from what it is to an AC equivalent circuit. So here I've drawn the, the RE model uh, with beta RE and beta IB as the two main components. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, RC, first of all. So if you look at RC, uh, since when we're converting a DC circuit into an AC uh, an, uh, equivalent circuit, we need to zero all uh, constant source. So VCC is a voltage source, so that needs to be zeroed, which means that the top part of RC becomes zero volts, which means it's at the same potential as ground. So effectively, the top of RC is now connected to ground, and the other side of RC is connected to the collector. So if you look at here, all right, so that's RC, one side connected to collector, the other side connected to ground. You still have IO flowing through R uh, RC as before. All right, and then you have ZO and VO uh, from the output side. Okay, so next let's have a look at an R1 and R2. Uh, well, C1 and C2, by the way, C1, C2, and CE, by the way, they become short whenever we do uh, AC analysis. So if you, just to remind you guys, these are the steps that you take. You short all uh, capacitors, zero all DC sources, you replace the transistor with the RE model. So we've done, uh, we've done basically all three. So on the left side, on the input side, uh, we need to do the same. So this uh, DC source needs to be zero volt. So which means the top part of R1 is now connected to ground. Okay, and uh, well, R2 doesn't change. R2 is between base and ground. But since VCC is zero volts, R1 is also between base and ground meaning that the two resistors are now in parallel uh, in the uh, AC equivalent circuit like you see here. So I've labeled uh, the two resistors that are in parallel as R prime, okay? So, and then on the input side, you still have the input impedance ZI and the input uh, source VI, okay? All right, so let's first uh, work out the uh, equations, some equations based on uh, KCL. Let's have a look at I.O. first. Well, I.O. is fairly straightforward. You see, there's a the beta I.B. current flows downwards, and it really doesn't have anywhere else to go but uh, but this side because it needs to come back, right? So therefore, beta I.B. actually courses through here and courses through R.C. in the same direction as I.O. So I.O. is just beta I.B. All right. So that's just a very simple KCL. Uh, I O is just simply beta IB. All right. Okay, so uh, next is II. Let's have a look at II. Well, II uh, comes off the source and then feeds into these, these three uh, resistors. All right. Uh, so we've already renamed R1, R2 to parallel as R prime. So we can write an equation for IB as a current divider rule, using current divider rule, right? So using current divider rule. So uh, let me just put that down. Or maybe I just put it up top here. Uh, so via current divider rule. Okay, so via current divider, I can write an equation for IB. Okay, I think this is gonna be quite long, so let me just put it down. All right, uh, all right, IB is going to equal to II, the, the initial input current, the big, the big current that's coming in, all right, multiply by, uh, so this is where, uh, if you guys remember, your current divider rule is going to be R prime, right, divided by R prime plus beta RE. Beta IB, sorry. Sorry, beta, beta RE, yeah. 
All right. I think I can get rid of this. All right. All right, so that's that's the divider current divider rule. And from this equation, I can just rewrite what II should be. So let's just do that. So therefore, oops. Therefore, uh, II, II is simply IB. times, well, basically these guys just go to the other side. So you're going to have on the uh, uh, numerator R prime. Oops, okay. R prime plus beta RE. Divided by R prime. All right. So that's our equation for uh, II. Okay. All right. So now we have uh, we have IO. We have II. Okay. Next, let's have a look at VO. Uh, okay. So if you look at VO uh, over here, that's the output side. Uh, well, it only has one resistive component here. That's that's RC. So we just simply use uh, Ohm's law to define what VO is. So Ohm's law. Uh, v equals I times R, so therefore VO is equal to IO, right? Oh, yes. Now, IO is flowing in in the upwards, and we want VO to be also upwards. So therefore, if you want to have a positive VO, we need to put a negative in front of IO because the current needs to flow the other way around. So it's going to be negative IO uh, v equals IR times RC, all right? Uh, since we already know what IO is, which is beta AB, so therefore it's just beta, beta IB times RC, all right? Okay, so that's uh, via Ohm's law. We have an equation for VO. Uh, now let's have a look on the VI side. Well, the VI side, um, uh, you, you have this current II, right? but then going through three resistors that are in parallel, all right? So, so we can also therefore write, uh, so I'm going to write for, for VI using Ohm's law again. It's just simply II times R, and the R will be R prime. Uh, so it's, it's is is basically R prime and beta R E in parallel, right? So it's going to be R prime beta R E divided by R prime plus R E. Sorry, plus beta R E. Okay. Okay, so that's um, in terms of that's that's basically VI. All right. Um, now uh, let's just quickly expand uh, what you know by by substituting II that we've we had earlier. So you can substitute into into this II. Uh, let me just align this a bit to the VO side. All right. Okay, so then let's just add, let's just uh, substitute II into here. So you're going to get this. That's all of this. All right. Times all of this. Okay. Sorry, there's no I I here. <clears throat> okay. And straight away you should be able to see that this top part here 
and the bottom part here, they're actually uh, canceling out, right? So this and this cancels out. And also R prime at the top and bottom also cancels out, right? So there you have R prime and this R prime also cancels out, right? So those guys cancels out. So what's left is just, uh, well, IB beta RE. All right, so that's uh, that's basically the VI VI side. Okay. All right, so let's let's you know we have we have IO we have II we have VOVI. So let's work out uh, our first uh, component of interest ZI. Let's have a look at ZI. All right, so ZI is fairly straightforward. That ZI is here. That's the input impedance seen from the source. Uh, basically, it's going to three it's going to see three resistors in parallel. Uh, since we call this R prime, so it just be R prime parallel with beta R E. So this is fairly straightforward, right? So Z I is just going to be R prime parallel with beta R E. Okay, so that is Z I. Uh, fairly straightforward. Okay, how about ZO? Let's have a look at ZO. Well, when we work out when we want to work out what ZO is, the output impedance, we always remember the into zero the the source, yeah, the input source, the signal source. So when you zero the signal source here, that means the top part is connected to the bottom, which means both both uh, nodes are now at the same potential, meaning there will be no current flowing through, meaning IB will become zero. So when IB becomes zero, then beta IB is also zero which means zero amps yeah it's a dependent current source so this is actually an open circuit so what zo will see is just basically rc you won't see anything else so so zo is very straightforward all right so it's just equal to rc done very easy all right so we've done those two let's have a look at av the voltage gain. Well, uh, the voltage gain is defined as VO, that means the output voltage, divided by Vn, the input voltage. All right. Well, we have an expression for VO, that's this here. So let's just copy that. All right. And all that is divided by VI, which we also have an expression for. Okay, so, well, clearly a few things cancels out. So you have uh, IB, well, you have beta IB top and bottom, so they cancel out. All right. So this one also. So leaving just negative RC over RE. Okay, done, very easy. Okay, so let's move on to the last uh, uh, component, AI. So AI is the current gain. It's just simply IO, uh, output current, divided by input current. All right, and we have an expression for both. So IO is just simply beta IB divided by II, which is this term here. Okay, well, clearly IB cancels out, so uh, IB is, is, is at top, top and bottom, so all right. So then what's left is just well, I'm gonna put the R prime at the bottom to, to bring it to the top. So you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have beta R prime divided by 
uh, R prime plus beta R E. All right, so brackets and done. And that's it. So uh, it's, it's, hopefully you guys agree, it's, it's um, very easy, quite fast. The key thing is to, of course, to get your uh, AC equivalent circuit correct, all right? And to also understand what the capacitors will do uh, in the AC equivalent circuit. All right, that's all for, for this. Thanks.